mean, I normally take naps, like, before you guys come over. Um, I'm fucking dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, I was like, I'm going to go make coffee. I'm going to I'm gonna wake myself up. We're about to watch a movie that has Luke Skywalker in it. Yeah, I know. That's really all I'm going to need. Luke Skywalker well, actually, you know. Yeah. He's going to have a line. In the movie. Hey, my mic's on now. God damn it, Luke. I didn't turn it off last week. I don't know what happened. No, I turn all the mics off after we leave. It saves me just that little tiny bit of you know power, even though oh. the mixer board's always on. At least the mics aren't drawing power. I could I could probably be doing that. I mean, you know, no, no, it's not a huge deal. Like, fuck, even I forget to do it often. Yeah, but I mean, you know, whatever. All right. But so, uh, anyway, welcome everybody. Hello, the ungodly hey. geeks. Yeah, we Here, do that uh, thing. Today is. Star Wars Day. It's a Star Wars Day, yeah. I mean, Star Wars um, released today. Yes. The Last Jedi in theaters. We're going to go see it in about uh, about two hours, give or take. Uh, Justice wait. League was a great distraction. This Star Wars release date snuck yeah. up on me. Yeah, so, no. Oh, like, oh, yeah. like That's right now. Yeah. Homecoming, <laughs> Thor. And that that was a bit more of a stretch. But yeah, then, Thor, then Justice League. Then Justice League. Yeah, me, yeah. Kind of kept me... So I wasn't feeling the burn too bad. I mean, and for me personally, working every single day since, like, the 2nd of December kind of helped mm-hmm. get to this point, too. Because, I mean, fuck. I, I'm so distracted. I'm so tired and distracted. And also, just... yeah, that that helps a lot. And not watching anything but the second trailer. No movie spots. No nothing. I, I can't. I, I don't even it. know which trailer I saw. Like, I don't know if I saw the first or the second. I, I don't know. They, I, released a, they released an international trailer, I think, was the last one. And it had some, like, I broke down and watched, I, I believe it was the last trailer was the international trailer. And it had some spoilery shit in yeah. it. Yeah. That's why and I was, I was bummed. I'm like, why would you put that in the trailer? And I was mm-hmm. sad that I watched it. Yeah. I think the only reason yeah. I saw the second one was because of, uh. Seeing four, and I think it was before Justice League too, wasn't it? Uh, so there was a tra- Star Wars. Yeah, there was a Star Wars trailer before yeah. Justice League, and that that was some, the last trailer I saw. Yeah, so. It was they, the second. They've trailer. got some yeah. bad stuff online, like like Disney and mm-hmm. like their Star Wars advertisements. Like I got on Instagram yesterday, and I'm scrolling, and one of the adverts is just a, a little ten second clip of like Ray and some people backed against the wall, and she grabs. Kylo's lightsaber, oh, and she's that. gonna fight Shush. with Kylo's lightsaber. <laughs> like you showed that in a ten-second advert on. See, that's why it kind of bugs me yeah. when it gets that close yeah. to the movie and they start revealing. And I mean, now if you go online, spoilers are all over the place. This is why I haven't touched uh, <laughs> like Reddit or Twitter all night. I get on. I, mean, fa- I rarely get on Facebook. I got on Facebook and I've already scolded yeah. like three people. Like I, nobody I'll cares about you. Nobody cares. Nobody uh, said anything. I don't care that. if you're not saying anything. I don't care about your opinion right now. Just, <laughs> just shut up. Shut up. Nobody I mean, fucking cares. No, we don't. We don't want any spoilers. Come on, man. Shut, what the fuck's like, wrong with shut you? Shut up, you. You fucking prick. Nobody cares. I think the only one you know who's um, we supposed to know better. On my timeline, like, you know, it's not on my wall, but on my timeline, it was uh, my buddy Marcus, and he just, he basically said he really liked it. But I didn't read it because it was like a paragraph. I'm like, I'm just going to scroll past it. He likes yep. it. Okay, cool. That's all I need to know. It's good. All right, let's keep going here. Exactly. That's, that's and that's all, that's I all I've seen. I mean, you, you, you do have subreddits, like, or, or I'm going to hell for this, that are trying to, like, fuck with you, and those spoilers, and, like, the flare yeah. You know, post for flair. It's like, yeah. yeah, we know that's not actually happening, but thanks. Like, whatever. I don't know. I, uh, I know they did spoilers for um, the Force Awakens. Well, yeah, but I had but like they were that was like a cons- so that was like a con- like on an Instagram. Effort. This time they didn't. Yeah. We had a friend yeah. text us that spoiled the Han Solo thing. Spoiler what a vile alert, he piece died of in shit. the last movie. Wait, did we? I'd want to. Yeah, Tony. Oh yeah, oh, Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was pissed. I wanted to. I wanted to throw. Tony, punches he makes pizzas. I wanted to Tony's throw pizzas. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, like, no, that that like that's like, not a joke. We live in a an awful world. Yeah, no. Yeah, and you want to spoil Star Wars? That a great escape like that for yeah. two hours this for is, people. This is all we have. I mean, it's this and booze and the occasional masturbation session. What? what why are you taking this from us? <laughs> I don't, know about, I don't know about you. That just makes me feel sadder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever gets you through the day. Right, yeah. You know, sometimes you just gotta you just gotta beat the meat. <laughs> well there's our podcast title. Hell yeah. <laughs> sometimes. sometimes you just gotta beat the meat. A Star Wars story. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? I I like that. I like that a lot. So that's that's the official title. I'm I'm going with that. No, I, I'm totally running with All that. All right. That's that's glad I could come up with that. Yeah. I, <laughs> because you know it's it's beautiful in that it's a stupid title, but then it ties into Star Wars because of how they titled Rogue One, so it's perfect. Oh yeah, and that's yeah. how they're going to title them all. I've never watched yeah. that movie. Speaking of, you didn't watch Rogue One? No, wait. I watched, seriously, I watched the Darth Vader scene. That's okay. all I, cor- that's all I cared to that. see. I mean, the movie was good. Yeah, I mean, Mark I, didn't I'm like sure it. I'm sure it was, yeah. but I'm a, I'm all right. Yeah, no, I don't need your anthology movies. I'm okay. I, I can't I just, wait for the I just didn't Obi-Wan have, movie. Well, I have no interest in... I have some interest in the Han Solo movie because, yeah. you know, <laughs> the Chewie and Lando aspects of yeah. the story. The cast is amazing. Um, and I just wanted to see the Darth Vader, how Darth Vader was part of, like, what his scenes were in Rogue One. Mm-hmm. That, I don't care. Yeah, he, he was care. on screen for, what, like four minutes? <laughs> Be I don't, careful I've, you don't choke on your aspiration. I have... I, oh, I want, such a cheesy line. <laughs> such a cheesy line. I, I want to see the I Obi-Wan it. movie, I loved though. It. No, I, I loved it. I will go see the Obi-Wan movie, because yeah. he's my favorite Star Wars character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is a cool motherfucker. He's man. the only reason to follow, like, in my opinion. I mean, I if you it. really love the prequels, fine. No. Um, I no, like, it's not I like fine. The, if you love the prequels, you have bad taste and you kill yourself. Return but of you and Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah. Ewan McGregor was amazing throughout those movies. Yeah, yeah like like he, there were there were scenes. He gave a shit. That's that's what yeah. I, like he ca- he cared. It says so much about his performance that yeah. those movies were so despised. And people are coming around a little bit. Mm. It's kind of good to see like mm. people are warming up to him a little bit. And uh, that despite that, people were still able to recognize how great he was as yeah. Obi Wan and have wanted him back so much that they're making an Obi-Wan anthology movie now. I mean, I I gotta say, looking back on those movies and you look at the actors and the actual acting that they did, yeah. there were times where you could tell he was really trying hard yeah. to stay like, like on there because it felt like, like you said, he was the only one who really cared. And it, I mean, part even, of it you don't want to. I don't want to hate on those other actors too much. Oh, no, you can no, hate they were on all given of them. To, what they were given to work with and the way they were directed, that's, though, that's by true. Lucas. Yeah. Like, like the stories that we I've heard, yeah, and like, stuff. Like, like that's get, what I think. Like they all got worn down by yeah. how insane George Lucas was, and um, you could tell that towards the end, like you and the only Hayden one. Hayden Christensen, there's no defending him. Yeah, I mean, he's a he was a bad actor given bad lines and yeah. with a, had a bad director. But then you get like Liam Neeson. Yeah, he did everything he could. It was still not great. And it was then not. you have Sam he, Jackson. I didn't even like Sam Jackson's performance in that movie. I liked some. He of didn't him. say motherfucker one time. No, he did not. <laughs> one out of ten. I love. Yeah, come on. That's like his thing. He has yeah. to say it at least once. It's still they were what well, one of them was rated PG thirteen, right? He could have said it one time. Boom, it's fine. Yeah. Over. I mean, hey, they were still on the by, Coliseum uh, fight scene. It was total yeah. good opportunity, like. He whispered it under his breath, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, he had it written on a stock. Head can- exactly. He had can- and he, had, he said it in between scenes right before he as jumped soon down as into he, the, the as fight As soon pit. as he cuts off um, uh, Django Fett's head. Yeah, yeah motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he yelled it, too, mm-hmm. because it, that's what he does. You know, um, that scene, apparently, like, some, like, h- half the Jedi Order was wiped out. Yeah, saving those three idiots. Yep, in that scene, it's insane when you like when you go and read like any of this stuff because they don't really talk about it much other than they mention that it was a horrible fight yeah. on Geonosis. That that beginning of the war, <laughs> like that action, damn near crippled the entire Jedi Order. From my point from of view, the on. Jedi are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah, no, you might be right. They're kind of dumb. Like, why would you Ugh. let those three idiots die? Like, fuck that. I mean. The needs of or the few outweigh the needs of the many. Don't Apparently. have your best soldiers jump out of uh, planes right in the middle of a cl- fucking clusterfuck. <laughs> Maybe have the clones jump out and shoot people. Let's just jump down into a kill zone. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, this we is got, a great idea, guys. We have laser swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all we need. Laser swords and force pushing. It'll and be they fun. weren't even using the force very much. No, no. Oh, God, the, the, the green screen, pit, like... Pretty much the whole movie, like the all three they, movies, were pretty much when all you green. See screen. them acting those scenes out, and their direction is just swing it around everywhere and do whatever feels right, and we'll fix it in post. 
and it was just them adding droids in the directions they were swinging their lightsabers and Those throwing out were force pushes. So bad, yeah, man. Oh, for sure. Oh, thank they you, were, Disney. They were thank hardly so even movies. I mean, as a, I was a young, I was a lot younger, so oh, I, was a kid. I, I liked them. the Phantom Menace. Like I remember, you, yeah, back in the yeah, day, you'd get all the Burger King sponsorships mm-hmm. and yeah. all the cool cups and stuff. I was, I was in love with the Phantom Menace. I, I remember having pod racing. How cool Darth Maul was. Darth Maul. Pod racing. Dead. I remember having. I don't this, care. I don't care what the comics just and stuff. He's dead. Giant fucking poster. It was like five It'll feet by three <laughs> feet. It was just Phantom Menace. I had yeah. it laminated, hung it on my wall. It was the coolest shit ever. And it, if I were to have that poster today, it would be wrapped up, like just rolled up in a corner somewhere, yeah. collecting dust. Because I just, I can't. Just, just, just kidding. Snoke is Darth Maul. He's actually <laughs> Darth Maul. Oh God! If they do that, I, I, I don't know how I would feel about that. Like I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I want. I, I, I would hope watch not. Rebels and then decide if I want that to happen. I, I don't know how I feel about that because, I mean, f- f- uh, isn't not Disney Rebels, basically the ignoring the prequels for this shit, kind of? No, 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 no. They, no, they've they had allusions just, to it. It's just not. You're just going to be smart about it and not, yeah. like, not talk, you're not going to openly shit. talk about sand. You're not going to say midichlorians. <laughs> oh. you're just yeah, gonna, you'll I never hate hear the word so midichlorian. Much, you just took this magical thing <laughs> and you fucking... Ruined it. Mm-hmm. It was fine With being what, like, a mysterious magical force. It was fine being space magic. And then you Seriously. added space Jesus, and yeah. made him evil. Uh, <laughs> uh, moving, moving. Um, yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, God, Obi Wan movie. I can't wait. I ha, young Han Solo. I'm kind of a little worried about. But I don't care. I'm so excited because I want. I just want to see Han and Chewie and Lando meet. Because it's not Harrison Ford, man. No, it's I know, not and I don't know Harrison about this dude. Ford. I don't. I don't care wait, who wait. it is. It's just not the same. Who is it? I don't. I haven't. Um, I haven't been paying attention. He's, He's been in a couple movies. Yeah. Uh, I. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen anything that he was in. Me neither. But, I mean, I, apparently he's a really good young actor. Um. What are they, what are they, apparently he was a big deciding factor in the other directors getting fired. Oh yeah, because, because apparently they like, weren't. He went keeping... to the studio or went to the head of the studio. And okay, like, I'm not even going to try to pronounce like, the dude's I have name. No it's idea weird. what's going on yeah. here. What these guys are are doing. You should help do something. Yeah, I guess <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy and them weren't really keeping track of the uh, which, dailies very closely, yeah. and they were just making a fucking which is good you, comedy. They movie. were letting directors make their movie. Yeah, but, I mean, I think they, they were going to turn it into a damn comedy. I think they regretted comedy. what they did with Rogue One when they changed the director and changed a lot of stuff. So they wanted to let them do their own thing, and then it just turned it out. No, we got to we got to change this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but know. hopefully, they caught it early enough that the movie's still great. They just reshoot forty percent of the movie and have everyone panic. Well, Ron Howard replaced uh, those directors, so yeah. I mean, he's a good director. So. I mean, he's I, he's a great filmmaker. I haven't liked any of his movies in a long, long time. Like his last movie with Chris Hemsworth, that uh, Moby Dick movie, mm-hmm. it was pretty, pretty bad. Was it? I didn't even see but it. But like in terms of like the man knows how to make a movie. He's he's gonna be. A, he'll have been able to come in and yeah straighten things out. I mean, he's an in-house director too. Like they know yeah. they ha- they know this guy. He's. You know, trusted Phantom Star Wars. Hell, I want uh, I, I mean, want them to get more like out there directors to do these spinoff movies, though. Like I thought, I, I thought the uh, I can't remember their name off the top of my head. The guys who did the Lego Movie, they're the ones who were originally doing it. I liked that choice, right? Just as somebody different to do a movie. Now, granted, they probably shouldn't have been handing Han Solo hand them yeah, something that's else. Like, like you not understand yeah. who you're hiring to make yeah. this movie. Han Solo get somebody. Close to it because this isn't. It's not quite a. It's not like an episode, but it's not a random fucking like. It's not like a random character movie or a random time frame. It's not like the old Republic or something where you can do whatever you want because it's completely open. Yeah, there's not yeah. much of an established this is, canon. This, is, this right. is fucking Han Solo. We know. We know something about Han Solo. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. Know, I don't know what they were thinking. I gotta ask, like, are they? Are they tell me they're gonna do like a, a Boba Fett kind of movie. Um, it's supposed time. to be. It's 
I, like, There's uh, been rumors on and off for Boba Fett. I kind of hope that's obviously one of the ones. That yeah, is, would be ideal. It's just yeah, been, not like, been confirmed. I mean, I'm just, I kind of hope they do a series. I mean, I just you know you, you see, yeah, give me a Netflix. You know, like a bounty hunters. Uh, well, I guess because Disney's going to open up their own streaming service, yeah. that'll happen on there. I'm yeah. cool with that. After, It'll happen after on Hulu. Having watched the, I would, you okay? You give me an awesome two hour Punisher movie with, with John Bernthal, mm-hmm. or you give me this thirteen hour long epic series mm-hmm. with John Bernthal. All day, I'm going to pick the thirteen episode oh, long series. Sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't need the movie. Give me a, a series. I, I would take a At series. At this point, you don't need the movies anymore. Right. The yeah. production value on the shows and the things you can do with with that now are are great. Yeah, there's so much better than what you can do with a movie. But, you know, for me, the like... The movie's great for being self-contained. You right. know, it's, it's you, two hours, you get the whole story. It seems like they have more creative liberty, too. Mm-hmm. Like, they can yeah. do things. Oh, yeah. And turn like as far as like ratings go, and oh, yeah. you're always going to have a bigger budget with a movie. Like I loved the Punisher, I've loved all the Marvel stuff, but there's still like you can tell this is just above TV quality. Mm-hmm. It's, it, or it's not just above; it's way above what you'd see on fucking primetime ABC or some crap. But right. it's not it's not quite a big budget movie. Right. Still good. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I I want to see something more about Boba Fett. Tell us more about him. Why why yeah. why does why why is Vader like such? Like, why does he think he's such a badass? No disintegrations. <laughs> yeah, like, like you know, like th- throughout the movies, you see that Vader's positioned as this ultimate well, badass, and then Boba Fett comes into the picture and says, like, he has like two lines, and that's enough to, for Vader to go, okay, what's the, I gotta, I gotta watch out for this guy. I mean, I don't think he. Ever and then he had dies like five minutes later, and it's like, I don't think that was actually Boba Fett. What? That's my head cannon. That oh, guy that your... fell in the Sarlacc pit was not Boba Fett. I, I just find a dude it in a suit. I just find it so amusing because you know he, he's positioned as this major badass that can get even Darth Vader's attention, but then five minutes later well, he dies. He wasn't. He's positioned as in the in, in the in the movie he's in. He's positioned as one of a bunch of bounty hunters. However, he gets the distinction of Vader going. Don't fucking disintegrate them. I want them alive. So apparently Boba Fett likes bringing his, his well, bounties in dead. I, I, re- I heard about it recently. Like, Boba F- uh, Darth Vader had hired Boba Fett uh, previously. Yeah, and to probably do something. wiped somebody out. And he uh, apparently was impressed enough to hire him again yeah. in that movie. But So they had previous history. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> in the uh, holiday special, Boba Fett actually meets Han and Luke. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, ride man. a dinosaur. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's so no. bad. Luke, don't bring that up. Uh, I, I don't even remember if I've seen the whole thing. I just I've I've seen clips and it's just so. I mean, cart. It's a cartoon and it's not. It's not good. I, that, I, and it's I, the I, best part of the holiday special. And it's just not. There's good. apparently a good comic series uh, called uh, Star yeah. Wars: Boba Fett, Enemy of the Empire. Ooh, and it it deals directly with Darth Vader and Boba Fett's. Uh, interactions. History. Oh, cool. Yeah, Check that cool. out. I mean, is it is it canon? Is that pre? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Came out in ninety nine. That's the one where oh. Boba Fett well, fights Vader. That's the you one know. where he fights Vader with a lightsaber. I don't, if I'm I don't if know. I'm not mistaken, because I've seen I've read that part He's of the hired, comic. Darth Vader hires him to track down some, uh, you know, a, a lightning battalion mm. guy, oh, okay. Colonel. Whatever. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Whatever. It'd be, it's something. It'd be interesting. An interesting I mean, read. yeah, it, it does sound kind of kind of cool, but I, I mean, still have like the first eight issues of the Vader comic I haven't read, and it's apparently really great. Yeah, I hear good things. I hear just, good things too about many a lot of Han to Solo too. Yeah, that's my only problem. Like when you're making, you know, <laughs> what shit. we make. Yeah. I mean, when you're making Poe Dameron comics. Yeah. Like. I mean, they went buck wild. I'm sure. I'm Marvel not saying they're not with great their, with their Disney. But like, uh, you're okay. making a Poe Dameron comic, and like, why don't dude? Why they don't... made a droid. They they've recently made a comic focusing just on C3PO and R2D2. Well, Poe Dameron's at least just, sort of entertaining. Just, hey, why? I just have this comic <laughs> series because Star Wars. Yay. Yeah. yeah no, Wars. I mean it's a cash grab. Like it's totally a cash grab. Because I mean, Star yeah. Wars will sell. It doesn't. You could put Star Wars on a pile of shit in a box and it'll sell. I mean, maybe I want to know. You know about Poe. I I mean I he, hear you, he's, dude. He's cool and uh, yeah, no, he's all right, man. But I don't. 
I'm really, hoping he really gets some don't. badass moments in this movie, and it looks like he does. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want him to be the badass fighter pilot. I don't, I don't want them to make Ray badass at everything. Just no, let, she's the Mary him, Sue of all let Mary him Sues, be, man. Let him be the fighter pilot. Yeah, she I mean, can be a badass Jedi chick. Um, fucking Finn can be Finn. Yeah. Truthfully, I don't <laughs> care. Like, I don't care what Ray does. Just I want to look at her. <laughs> you fucking crazy. I just basket. look at Ray for two hours. You just <laughs> look at Daisy Ridley. You just want to all her stare fucking at her. adorableness. Doom doom. And <laughs> giant fucking eyes. Oh, me the big anime eyes, but yeah. it's just it's just waifu. <laughs> 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 you have a Daimakura with her on it. Daimakura. <laughs> 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 oh no. He has a shrine in his closet, just dedicated to Daisy, Daisy Ridley. Ridley figure right in the middle. Yeah. That really, really bad one. Oh god, the like ten inch one. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even look like her. No, those t- those no. figures are garbage. I'd have to move my Green Lantern shrine for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I don't like her that much. Oh man. Yeah, no, nothing will compare to Green Lantern for Ron. <laughs> man, true that. I, I mean, you know, I, I mean, on the topic of Star Wars, though, like, man, how about Battlefront, man? Like, <laughs> how much does that themselves. suck ass, man? Like, yeah, like that, uh, like it just. No one wants a single player story driven game. Dude, Star Wars is That's, a single well, player story driven one, game. And apparently it's decent, but you get I hear me- with... mediocre as fuck. Yeah, this it's it's hearing. it's not good. It's not okay. It's it's I don't really, know. I've really heard short. A few good, I've heard for all the bad things I've heard as many good things, so I don't know. It's really, really short. It's it's, just, it's buggy as finished. hell. It's not really fun. I just know that the, the character story... does a heel uh, or a face turn. Yeah, real goddamn quick. It's after one of those, it's one of those watching things. the Empire destroy fam- planets, apparently they're about to dry, destroy another planet, and she goes, "Hey, I don't <laughs> want this to happen." It's like, bitch, how many planets have they destroyed already? Yeah. They made two fucking Death Stars. You dumbass. I mean, that's their exact they, purpose. And in Star Wars canon, they wiped out planets long before the Death oh, yeah. Star by using a billion Star Destroyers. So the fact that she's just now like, oh, are we the baddies? Yeah. No, fuck <laughs> Wait you. a minute. Your story's horrible. I'm the bad guy? And she's like, special fuck you forces. Uh, just no. But that, uh, that, just, that just kills me. Like, you have Star Wars. Star Wars is story. It's, it's, it's lore. It's... Awesomeness. It's a massive universe where and, you have so much possibilities. And you sit there and no one wants Nobody a story-driven game. Nobody wants a story-driven game. game. We're yeah. just going to have people yeah, we do. run around chaotically shooting at any shiny thing that moves. Yeah, no, that's that's not okay. Multiplayer is even garbage in those games. I wish the games, I wish in games we could just move away from everything that's happened. In, like, like KOTOR had it right. Like, you have the movies. Go so far yeah. in the past and, and tell stories about that through the video games and stuff, but um Dash Rendar yeah, from uh, um Something of the Empire? Revenge of the Empire, something. I remember it was I remember it was on the N sixty four. My fa- like yeah, probably my favorite N sixty four game based around this character who was like a Han Solo clone but a little bit more uh like du- like um Duke Nukem. It was a third-person shooter. I gotta be honest with you, that sounds awful. No, it's fun. It Han was Solo awesome. fused Dick Nukem just sounds he's, bad. He's like an action star. He's not a smuggler, like a, a wise cracking smuggler. He's a kick the front uh, front door in and shoot all the motherfuckers in the room kind of guy. Okay, but it was awesome. Right, the game was fun as fuck. It's had a storyline that was you were going against a criminal organization that was as powerful as the empire right so you had the empire fighting the rebels fighting this uh the xanar or some it had an x i don't remember what it's called but you were Xanax. fighting this other this completely third party villain and all so you had tie fighters um x wings and they these people's own whatever the fuck ships all flying around in a chaotic space battle at the end. The game was fucking awesome. Right. From I mean, beginning to end. Sounds you, cool. You fought uh, both Boba Fett and IG-88, the uh, robot uh, bounty hunter that's standing next to Boba Fett in the one fucking scene. Oh. And it was fun. Sorry, I know a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I tried to play KOTOR. Uh, that game is not held up well. Not really, no. I mean. It's hard, but it's great. I mean, I'm sure it's good. It's just. 
not good. I had good. it on my phone <laughs> not that long ago. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, yeah, that's what I got. I got it on Android, and so I can play it on my TV out here with my Shield TV and Ooh. the controller. And it's, like, graphically, it's fine. Like, I understand it's old and shitty. Like, yeah. I'm not even on that. Like, like I can forgive games like that when I know they're just... Yeah, it was the original Xbox game. Right. So I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me. But the gameplay is just... I, I don't find it engaging. It's the, it's a it, it's, weird It's tedious. It's so grindy. Yeah, it, yeah, it's grindy and tedious. Yeah. Like, that's what it ends up being for me. I mean, it looks like a good game. The story looks like it might be good. Everything's voice acted. Mm-hmm. which is kind of neat, I'll be honest with you. But it's like, I just, I started playing it, and I'm like, I, I didn't even get, like, out of the, f- like, the first area. Mm-hmm. Like, you go, you leave the room after you grab your shit, and you go into the hallway, you fight, like, five or six droids, and I'm like, I don't like this. <laughs> this is... I couldn't, I mean, I was playing it on mobile, and no matter how interested I am in playing it, I just can't get past the mobile controls. Yeah. So I didn't get very far either. I mean, I'm playing it... Th- with you know, I'm I'm basically playing mobile with with a controller. Like that's that's all it is, and on a much bigger screen. Yeah. But just I mean, the last Star Wars game I can remember playing and enjoying was Dark Forces. Mm. Dark Forces was really really good on the PlayStation. Yeah, I mean that's the uh, Bioware though. <clears throat> like that's where they got their start was with the Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic. I mean, II. no, la- last Star Wars game I really enjoyed playing was, <laughs> I mean, Battlefront. Back in the day, <laughs> Battle See, like, I was really interested Battle in playing Front Force Unleashed two, and stuff. The and good one, <laughs> Force Unleashed and Force Unleashed Two, like like those are pretty good games. I just they couldn't hold me hold my attention long enough to get through. Oh, I loved the first Force Unleashed. <clears throat> the second one was not fun. I don't. I don't. The first one was so good. I think I remember Force Unleashed, but I don't know how much I actually played it. Like that was during the time when I was kind of just bound by whatever games my dad bought. So I know I do remember playing dark forces though. I was like, Oh, this game is awesome. I didn't play that one. I mean, cause I mean for me growing up, I didn't have star Wars. I had star Trek. Like my dad is, my dad's a Trekkie, but we don't take anything away from star Wars. At least Mm -hmm. I don't, I love both, but they're they're very different. They are very different. Like to sit there and say, uh, it's like, Sit there and say Star Wars, Star Trek to compare them. It's literally like comparing oranges to like a pillow. Like they're completely different things. I think the only reason that back in the day they had that, you know, versus that that head to head thing was because Star Trek already had its fandom. Yeah. And then when Star Wars came out, they were like, well, it's different. It's not great. And then all the people who saw Star Wars and just had an awakening of, well, I'm a fucking nerd now. Mm -hmm. And you don't like the thing I like. I don't like you. Yeah. And it was two fandoms that, because fandoms are cancer. Oh, they are. Fought against each other immediately. Yeah, fandoms fandoms ruin the things they love. Like grow up. Fandom killed Undertale. (laughs) You know, Undertale's dead now because of its fandom. I wish Five Nights at Freddy's would kill its it's you know I don't even judge that guy man he he's fine. I don't know the guy is fine yeah. I hate the concept I hate the game and I don't hate him because he's successful I hate him because I, I mean, think it's bad it is a it is you know I love horror movies and and like it is an awesome like it's an awesome B horror movie waiting to happen it's a really yeah. awesome concept like you really get into it it's actually the depth of that story interesting, yeah. man I'm not I have no hate for that at all like uh i can't there they last year the news came out that lionsgate bought the property and they're gonna make mm-hmm. a movie about it i cannot wait there's like fan films and stuff get on there and watch those fan films i'm i mean okay I, not a they, lot creeps me out right. they're pretty creepy i mean okay but if i don't like the source material i'm not gonna like anything derived from the source material that that's a fair so but, I, mean, I mean, I I'm excited. For I mean, the like I said, I don't, I, I don't hate the guy. Like, hey, man, yeah. you, you do He's you, you successful? Guy. He totally. Owned when his games aren't that great. Yeah, he'll own up to it, and like, yeah, I suck. I mean, it's just simple gameplay. It's a yeah. single indie developer, so it's whatever. That's the reason I, I'm not a fan of the games. But the fact that they have that kind of lore and he put that time into it, right? I'm like, that's that's pretty cool. Well, I don't I mean, like the okay. screaming twelve year olds who are playing it. From but. what I understand, a lot of the lore that was adopted was just fan fiction. Uh, I mean, I, I, at I some think, point, I think he didn't intend it to be that big. Yeah. But he had that already started in the first game, and he continued. It wasn't, it wasn't like he took fanfic and you know, oh, this is why. I think that spurred him on to continue writing the story. Right. And if anything, I think he probably changed stuff if people got it right. 
Because I mean, that's the sort of thing I'd do if I'm writing it on the fly. Yeah. Like, oh shit, this kid got what I was thinking right. Well, I'm going to take a left turn and do something different. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Yeah, oh, like uh, I'm uh, almost like uh, Red State, where Kevin Smith, as he's writing it, <laughs> anytime he started predicting it, he wrote the opposite. Right. Which I mean, I got to say that movie threw me off, but anyway. Yeah, it's fucking head trippy. I mean, he quit at the very end, though. Whenever we talk about that movie, it just sticks in my... It just sticks in the back of my mind. Like, I like the ending. He didn't have to do the apocalypse. It would have oh, been Oh, cool. no, he did. I just don't want the religious guy to be come right. Come on, Kat. Be honest. Hey, just... Dude. Come on, man. No. No. Then you just have... Oh. It, it's just... It was just this this nothing... I loved it. I absolutely noises. loved the, the. It would have it would have vindicated so the bad weird. guys the whole fucking time. And you time. know what? It's not it's not that they didn't. It wasn't. We're talking awesome. about Red State, by yes. the way. Yes, yeah, yeah. The end scene where Which he's in the has nothing cell. to do with Star Wars. No, <laughs> uh, it's a tangent. Go with us. <laughs> yeah. Come on this trip with us. But the, him in the cell when he's singing and is so insane. And that dude, that, that guy's one of the greatest actors that never. Got his chance. Yeah, Kev, period. Kev that dude gave is him amazing. Some really good roles. And Quentin Tarantino liked him too. Yeah, oh yeah. He never got any big roles. His, the biggest roles I think he ever had were in Kev's movies. Yeah, probably. Which is a shame. Now he's it's gone. a crime. That it's a crime that that man never got to be crazy in any other big budget movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Anyway, let's get back on topic. Yeah, so um, some other things that have happened, Star Wars related. Um, yeah, Disney is officially buying a big chunk of Fox uh, yeah. Entertainment, yeah. All of Fox Entertainment, minus uh, the news and the sports. Yep. News and sports and the broadcasting network. Yeah. Apparently they're yeah. not getting that, but they're getting basically the movie studio and the TV studio parts of it, so, you know. <laughs> so The Simpsons, Family Guy, yeah. X-Men, Deadpool, yeah. Fantastic Four, Which, most um, likely. Another thing, some other stuff. another thing that came out. Um, uh, of course, the deal has been appro- the deal is it still has to go through DOJ approval and all that shit and yeah, FTC and all that good shit. The better part of two years, it could take months, yeah. take at least a year. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing I did I did hear this apparently the CEO of Disney did talk to the investors and say stuff like uh, Deadpool is going to remain our. Yeah, got, yeah. that news came out, and I'm like, "Oh, that's so good!" And he was talking of uh, taking Marvel and creating a separate brand called Marvel R for just for stuff like yeah. R-rated flicks. Yeah, like um, you know, like taking a pun. If they do a Punisher movie, it's going to have to be rated R. And with I mean, the, the success- Punisher TV show is definitely rated R. So obviously, oh yeah, yeah, TVMA. They, they're not Disney's not coming in and Disneyfying everyone like everyone was afraid. Yeah, no, like I like, mean, people. F- I mean. A, lot, a few horror movies that I've really loved, I, I'll dig into to the, the credits and stuff. And, like, Disney isn't as squeaky as people think well, they yeah, are. They're they in on a lot of Max, really own, hard uh, R horror movies. There's, like, three studios or something that Disney owns that have been putting out R-rated yeah. um, stuff. I, I'm pretty sure it's more than three. But, yeah, one of the well, big yeah, – yeah. one of the, the first one I always point to is Buena Vista. Like, yeah. You know they own it's, Buena Vista, and that's where they produce a lot of their R-rated movies. Yeah, it's not unkind. Like it's 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 a common thing for a big studio to create another studio just to house, you know, movies like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I mean, this also means they're getting Alien, and they're getting, um, fuck. Now they have James Cameron's stuff. They have Fox Searchlight, so they have all of the uh, the like Oscar-y push movies. Like uh, this, they've been working with Guillermo del Toro. That's where The Shape of Water. The studio that made that, which is awesome. Like, I would love to see him do, like, anything mm-hmm. with Disney money. Please. Yeah, I mean, like, having the powerhouse of this Disney behind you like that, it's, it's just, yeah. it's going to do wonders for all sorts of shit. Like, I see a lot of good things coming out of this. I mean, I'm sure there are people who are like, no, it's going to be terrible. There are going to be bad things. And people are retarded. Yeah. I mean, they're yeah, not so retarded. People, like, we'll that see. is just complete There's... idiocy. Why do you think... <laughs> It is. Why do you think any of this is going to turn out bad? There's why? always a chance that is they're going to be making Fox, cuts. Look, it, look, look. Is it because this Fox's X Men movies are so good? Is it because they? No, Deadpool is not good because of Fox. Deadpool is good in spite of Fox. It's good because Fox let them make the movie they wanted to make and didn't put their nose into the production process of Deadpool or Logan. Get out of here with that. That, that yeah. nothing, nothing Fox has ever done, superhero related, has been worth a shit 
at all. <laughs> they started it with the first I mean, X Men. So yes, well, it X- has. X Men no. First Class. Yes, how good was how good was that movie? The original X Men started these superhero movies. In that we would not be bullshit where we without that. bullshit. Blade started the no, movies. It if we want to get techn- no. technical, Blade, Blade started. People didn't even know that was superhero a comic movies. movie. X Men is whatever. Yeah, it's one of the first. That's the only credit it's going to no, get no, from me. No, I, it wasn't X-Men so damn good that X2 I'm going to sit here and great. blow the original X-Men movie. X-Men 2 was whatever, too. Ugh. Then X-Men 3 was complete dog okay. shit. Ron, Ron and, bring it down. Bring it down. Fuck all that bullshit. Bring, bring it down. Because Warner Brothers has had such a good track record, too. Fuck Fox. <laughs> but uh, They've done nothing but bastardize and completely alienate every comic book property they've had there. They've they've had it. He's just really they've angry because the Silver Surfer was garbage in No, the, the Silver Fantastic Surfer was Four. great in the movie. The movie was stupid though. The yeah, movie okay, was stupid. Yeah, the right. Silver Surfer was done great. Lawrence Fishburne did the voice. I was actually happy with that. <laughs> they turned they turned fucking Galactus into a big cloud. Yeah. But other than that, Silver Surfer was at least done right. I I I uh I do like the idea, though, that, that Marvel will have control over those properties again. That'll be nice. I mean, and, you know, now we you know, we might get a crossover. You never know. Just I'm sure. Deadpool and Logan have Fantastic warped Four. people's perspective 100%. on Fox so much. And I, I can definitely tell you. in spite of Fox, not I can definitely because tell you, of Fox. I can definitely tell you it hasn't mine. Like, I know why Deadpool yeah. was successful. Deadpool was successful because you had someone like Ryan Reynolds who's absolutely passionate about the character, who's absolutely passionate about telling the story, who's absolutely passionate about playing Wade Wilson and Deadpool, and he just went into it with, like, he had no budget. This, $58 million budget and made it is $760 billion, you know, million. This dollars. is the like, studio that following the complete train wreck that was fan four stick they're okay. I know what I know, guys. I know what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna make them kids. We're gonna go and make we're a kid story while they're in schools. Movie. They're all little kitties. That's what we'll do. That's the that's the Fantastic Four movie that we need to make in order to make this property succeed. Which, of course, is absolutely retarded if you know even the most basic get, shit about Fantastic the, Four. I still want to know that away from them and let. I let still want to know how far Marvel that got because I don't believe that ever got past someone's idea that leaked. But yeah, no. here's the thing. They did start turning it around. You can't just say, oh, Logan and Deadpool were a fluke and it doesn't count. Because they did. I did not say They it's did a both fluke. first class and they did. First class uh, was good. Days of Future Past. was good and Days of Future Past. They was started good. turning it around where they were making good shit. Then they made I never that said garbage Deadpool, apocalypse. I never you said Deadpool said and Fox Logan were a fluke. complete garbage. Fox is complete They're garbage. Not complete Deadpool garbage. and Logan they is got... not good because it's a Fox property. I didn't say it was because it's a Fox they property. They kept their fucking nose out of the making property, of those right? right? movies. Was it a Fox property, though? What? Did Fox make those movies? What? Did Fox make Logan, Deadpool? Uh, they gave them and, money to make but those movies. did they movies. make those movies? No, they did not. Did they make those movies? No, they Is did Fox's not. Fox's name on So you're going to sit here and be in, in fucking credit you, Fox I'm for Deadpool you. and Logan because they're Fox properties. So they made saying, the movies, So you're correct. saying they had a big part in the creative process yes. of making... Fuck out of here with Fox that. Fox made That's those ridiculous. movies. I'm not saying... I don't care. Fair enough. Whatever. I'm done. I'm That's saying ridiculous. 20th Century Fox. That is ridiculous. 20th Century Fox started making better movies. That is ridiculous. They started making better movies before this. You're saying that just because they made shit before that they can't they've always they made can't shit. make anything they've better. They've made two they've they, they've made two good movies. They made four good movies recently. I don't like X2. I thought I X-Men didn't say 1 X2. was okay. I said Days of Future uh, Days Past, of Future Past and, was good and First uh, Class first was class. good. Which that's is, why I said Okay, okay. Now calm down cuz that's the exact thing he said. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's he all was, he was saying. No, he was no, sitting no, here. No, 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 he no, was no, sitting no, here no, giving no, credit to okay. Fox in that Fox, okay, the Deadpool and Logan are Fox properties, so Fox is great. No, I no, he wasn't okay. saying that either. You idiot. I never said no. they were great. I said that Fox was turning not, around not getting where it had on its. I'm not saying they're any great. Any credit from me. But they did start turning around movies. and got smart enough to let people who could create the movies make those movies. You no. can't just say that, oh, well, they, they, they didn't make the movies. They hired the people to make the movies that needed to make no. the movies. They made them good. No, they didn't. I or do they I not disagree. hire the people to make the movies? I fucking disagree. Do you, that's like we're we're how getting. How does he think movies are made? That like in somebody's backyard I'm, and Fox just let them make it? No, no, they, <laughs> they funded gave the movie. Them, they hired them. They said, "Make your movie." Okay. That's what Fox needed to do. That's how they turned themselves around. So Fox, okay, so Fox, it, Fox. I'm is, not saying they're we're, great okay. I'm not happy that I'm, I'm, I'm saying they're going to. Keep I'm going to validate those people. people's complaints 
and, and, and weariness in that this might not turn out good because Fox is actually no, not, no, no. I'm fucking not I'm not validating now. complaints. I'm saying that Fox isn't – they didn't, like, have complete shit. If they're keeping those people that made Fox those movies, trash. that's what Disney needs I, to do. I fucking hate all their – I fucking hate all their movies. <laughs> I, I didn't even watch Logan. I watched Deadpool. So do you want them to get rid of those people then at Disney? Because – What? Those were the people that Fox put to do those movies. No, they can leave the. They can let the people that made Deadpool make their movie. Okay, make their movies. That's what I'm saying. Don't if make Disney another X Men movie. People. Don't make another Fantastic Four movie. Don't make any other superhero property other than one fucking property. Because fucking Logan and and Wolverine is gone now. So you got Deadpool. Well, yeah, you're you working can't get with. Hugh Jackman anymore. He's done. But that doesn't mean you can't have Wolverine like in the Avengers. Like later on. I mean, on. I hope they do. We talked about that yeah. last week. Give me but... a new give me a new Logan. No. Yeah. They, they're they're awful. <laughs> okay, Fox okay. Awful. Okay. That's not the point that was being made though. Okay, let me let me see if I can shape this around. You were saying they're complete trash. Luke was saying they're trash, but they were getting better. And that's all that was being said. Yeah, they hired the right people. So if Dis- with Disney's acquisition I want them to keep those same people making Deadpool, yeah. making movies like Logan. This, uh, what is it, the New Mutants? Looks like a horror movie? That could turn out to be fucking great. If it does great. well, they already have two more planned. Of exactly. It. So, yeah, that's what I want to see. And we'll see how if good their Dark worried, Phoenix movie They're worried movie that they're going to get rid of those. Be. Oh, that'll probably be garbage. It's going to be, be fucking... Wrong. That's still got... Not, not, hey, hey at least the fire is going to look really good. The fire is yeah. going to look pretty sweet. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be... Let's that, leave them alone. See, that movie is in production, will probably... When was that supposed to come out? Next year? I, fuck, I don't know. I have no clue. They, no idea. If Disney gets it before that movie's released, they'll probably delay that and either go through and see what they have, if it's viable. If not, that'll be... That won't come no, out. I, I ran in... I, where I had a problem with that is, like, I'm not... I, I Forgive me. I cannot sit here and credit Fox... Like, okay, we don't know what the fuck we're doing, so we're just going to let these... We're going to let Ryan Reynolds and, like, we're going to let Ryan Reynolds do his thing and stay out of it. Good on them for that, but it doesn't, they it doesn't knew change. Who the, what I'm saying is they knew the people to let do the movies. And if Disney comes in and says, okay, we're going to rehire all these people and have our own creators come in, that's a problem. That's where people get afraid. That's where if jobs are lost, if they start cutting creators that would be a problem because you know if the writers and if everyone who's involved in deadpool drops ryan reynolds isn't sticking around and if that happens then it's done and i don't think granted i don't think any of that's going to happen disney's smart enough to go cool we we acquired this brand branch of fox we're just going to relabel your building you're right there hey do you need some money do you need some more people for uh special effects here you go make colossus colossus look a little bit better in the next movie yeah, make him look less like a less like a shiny boy. Less like a T one thousand or whatever the T eight hundred. I I don't. Yeah, I'm so I'm less s- like Terminator. I'm so far away from ter- so does X Men Apocalypse <laughs> released after Deadpool. Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Apocalypse. They they that wasn't great. No, that 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 that, that was shit. But I mean, yeah. they were getting to a point where they were starting to maybe understand what it took. And yeah, five hundred forty three I mean, million dollars. Apocalypse did. Yeah, yeah, but how much was its budget? <laughs> it was big, but it wasn't. Yeah, it know. wasn't Justice League. Big. Like if you're sitting there looking at a 150 million dollar budget, and you only made 543 million. You know the movie. sad part is that a that uh, fucking 178 million. He looked better Ouch. than he looked better yeah. than Stephen Wolf, but I bet it was cheaper. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Well, know. This was an actor playing the role. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I got to say, like, Ivan Ooze. Oh man, that's so bad. Like don't don't do that, guys. Now you know uh, though. I I do. I I, I want to see where Disney takes X Men though. Yeah. Because I mean, I I I see them completely rebooting it during a phase. Like I see them rebooting X Men during a phase. Yeah. Phase, I mean, phase four, phase five, whatever. Phase seven. I don't know, but I see them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I want I want Wolverine to interact with the Avengers and maybe some of the X Men. Right. But if they're going to reboot X Men, keep it separate. Maybe in the same universe, but like Guardians is treated. Right. Guardians is pretty much its own. Yeah, it's, it's own got thing. its own slice. And apparently, James Gunn has already talked about characters that he's like, I really like that character. Maybe I'll, you know, just come in and uh, pluck them out for a Guardians film. Mm. That's fine. Yeah, but I kind of want to see the X Men breathe on their own. 
Yeah, yeah I like yeah. what James Gunn's doing already. Like, yeah. he's taking really obscure characters and he's like, let me just, you know, this super obscure character in the Marvel uh, universe. And, I fully want to believe him into my movie. I want to believe that he, like, I want him and Taika Waititi to hang out and plan movies together because both of them are amazing. And if I swear to God, Thor's got to stick around because Taika Waititi needs to make another Thor movie. Thor ain't going nowhere. That that franchise makes a lot of money. Yeah, it did. Now apparently, mm-hmm. the other movies didn't do so hot. Like, well, at least yeah, critically, the first they two. Didn't. But I mean, I don't think you're gonna see like, I I think Cat may die, but I don't think you're gonna see, uh, like I don't think they're gonna kill off any characters that have their own franchise. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, I I don't know. There's, I mean, the amount of changing. I think they turn like Hawkeye, Black Widow. Yeah, these it, characters they ain't going away. They die. they don't. I I don't think I don't think they'll die because they're just like. Well, one off characters. Like obviously yeah. Vision's dying. Oh yeah, we, oh, we already know back. that's happening. Yeah. I think I think I do think Hawkeye is gonna go. Yeah, maybe. Um Yeah. <laughs> little characters like that. I don't know. I honestly the fact that they showed War Machine in the trailer makes me go, Okay, this time Rhodey's not coming out alive. Yeah, probably not. He, he <laughs> Which sucks because I want to see him I do something I first. I don't I've never liked Rhodey. <laughs> I just want the character to be a badass at least once. Yeah, he just gets shot out of the sky. Yeah, like yeah, I, I that was my biggest complaint with Iron Man. Uh, you didn't see that coming, two and three. War Machine. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, oh, you Come did on, not man. see this coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that character did die. Yep. Oh well. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and wind it down here before we piss Ron off again. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I, the fuck I, out I can't. Of Ron. I cannot. You fucking did, man. I cannot. I. For the man, record, I'm not a fan. I cannot of forgive Fox. them for what I they've just done. Give the them Fantastic for hiring Four, the right people for what they've done with with fucking yeah. a few X Men movies. And I don't. Oh, I, no. I don't know. I don't know, sir. I don't know who <laughs> Fan Four Stick and what their plans were. Uh, <laughs> I know. There's no. It's like they only hired talent and just left that talent alone and decided we can't have anyone else who knows what they're doing. I think I think Deadpool was a little bit of a different scenario in that like Ryan Reynolds really had a lot of passion for Deadpool. He pushed for it for he, so he's long. He's been fighting to make it for a long time and he wanted they to just do it were right like, and he was threw really a bothered. He string budget at him and said, "Fine. And I'm sh- make your stupid fucking movie." I'm sure he threw a pitch at them that it, it costs like $10 in terms of comic yeah. book movie money. 30, yeah. What was like, it? 30 go ahead. Pounds? What do you mean? Their their budget on was that like was like thirty four fifty eight million. million. Fifty eight million, yeah. yeah it was so fifty eight million thousand. Yeah, they they threw they pretty much just went fine. Make your fucking movie. <clears throat> Stop bothering us. Yeah, I mean, you look at profit wise, they made oh almost seven hundred. They made million all dollars. of the money. Yeah, Logan was under a hundred. Yeah, oh, Logan yeah. made was like what? Uh, not, the, Goddamn like ninety six million too. dollar budget, and it made a lot of money. I mean, um, I just recently rewatched that on HBO, and it's like it's as good as it was the first time. Oh, Logan's amazing! So, and I, 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 all right, I can give them a little bit of credit for for Logan mm-hmm. because they saw the success that Deadpool had, and that created like how you go about ma- making that movie. They're like, go ahead, do it again. It worked last time. Well, they looked at their actor and decided, okay, you have some input on this. You've played this character for what twenty years or almost. Okay, so uh, what would what would Logan do? I fucking and hate Hugh him. Hugh Jackman did it. <laughs> Such a good flick. Yeah, I need to watch Logan. I just don't want. I haven't watched it. You didn't it. see it. Okay, like, well, at all? ninety-seven no. million was what Logan was. The just, budget was. Yeah, I don't like. I don't want to be bummed out. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like it, I know it's... I know I'm gonna watch this movie. It's gonna be great. It's gonna have awesome moments. But I'm just gonna be left. You're gonna what you're a, gonna cry, Dad. Tears. What a bummer. Like, big. Dad, yeah. You, you, yeah, there, there are moments where you cry. You, what, you, you are legitimately crying bad with, tears. It's going to end with Logan buried on a hill. And uh, I don't fucking even well, they at, fucking at buried him. At least yeah, they, that's, they buried him. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. They just left his fucking. He's, no, no, he's just going to die. No, no. He's going to fucking him. die on a tree stump. Like it's such a depressing world. There, basically, there's it's totally going to be our world. There, there's not really much of a good ending, like. It's I mean, bittersweet. I mean, it's a they, great they, it's like no matter what, X-23 makes it. You know, yeah, no matter it. what Logan's end is, it's a good end for him. I'm happy for him that he gets to die. <laughs> I'm so happy that... As fucked up as that is, he's earned the right to die. One yeah. of my favorite comic book storylines, Old Man Logan, got adapted. And it's not. It's almost nothing like the comic except for the fact that old, Logan's old. But it's so well done. 
that I'm I can't I'm unbelievably happy that they did that and it was good because I I honestly when they announced it I was like nope this is going to be utter shit you can't do old man Logan without all of the rest of Marvel mm. because it it takes place in the middle of the Marvel universe. You all see, right, all right, seriously. We're, oh yeah, we were cutting this off. We're, we're, we're we cutting this off. Do, yeah, gotta bail the uh, yeah. show gotta, is coming up for Star Wars. Yeah. All, all right, right, guys. So we're anyway, go ahead and cut that off there. You know, once again, before we get everybody wrong. Turn up. your volume yeah. down like twenty minutes. Th- oh 20 no, minutes to a half an hour into the. It, it was about half an hour, and I actually had to turn Ron's mic down mm-hmm. a bit because it was it was like, dude, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Triggering. <laughs> Fucking right, classic guys. fucking Luke and right. Ron. You get a classic Luke and Ron interaction back from the old days in this <laughs> podcast. Congratulations. Me and Luke used to go at it over like, the a lot, over shit the too. dumbest things. Yeah. Uh, All right, guys. 90% of the time, I'm just trolling. All right, guys. Yeah. For the Ungodly yeah. Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. Always fucky A. Star Wars. Star Wars.